What is going on YouTube and welcome back to the channel. Today we have a case opening. Yes, a case opening of Revival Collection Volume 2. This honestly was one of the best investments I've done so far in 2020 because I found these these cases on Ideal 8 for $370 each. They were on sale apparently. It was $370 Per case so honestly I am extremely happy I made this investment um, we're gonna open one case for now and hopefully the second case opening should be uploaded by next week and a third one should be uploaded the week after but so far at the moment we're gonna open one case and we're gonna see if I go minus or plus so you guys are wondering Rico why are you buying a case of Carver Vanguard why are you buying pieces of cardboard during the during the time that we have in 2020 well, recently I've been making enough money where I feel very comfortable to start making investments, to start buying things. I have enough money saved up just in case for emergencies. I have enough money to pay off my bills. So right now at the moment, I am completely comfortable with my situation and money. So I figured why not let me buy this ca these cases and, on it, and I know for a fact I will guarantee make my money back and more. Now, if you guys don't know, in Revival Collection 2, it came with a bunch of reprint, reprints. It came with a full art hollowed, hollowed uh, Stratasys and full art hollowed G-Guards. Now, these G-Guards, honestly, I feel like they will go up over time. Even though they are reprinted, uh, some of them might be bad, some of them might be great, some of them might be like a dollar. But I can guarantee you these G-Guards will go up in value. Uh, I'm not too sure if the 2020 Premium Collection will give us new G-Guards. But if they don't... Uh, I honestly feel like these G-Guards will go up in value later on, definitely in the, in the, lo in the long run. As for Stratasys, unfortunately they go for like 50 cents, maybe a dollar max if you get rid of them. But overall, they're hollowed full art Strat Stratasys, so they do have some value. People prefer them over the rare or prefer them over the, the hollow SP. But so far at the moment, this, this G-Guard, I'm pretty sure it goes for like a dollar. And the Stratasys, we're going to value them like 50 cents each. Um, as for the money cards in this set, it's 100% the Zero Dragons and the few strides. Um, we got two more Stratasys and a G Guard. Uh, this G Guard came only as a rare, so the full art hollow version actually might be worth some value. So yeah, the Zero Dragons are value. A couple strides in here are definitely value. But let's see if we pull anything. And we pulled our first stride. This one is for Spike Brothers. This is a reprint of a bit of a used to be very expensive uh, generation rare back then. This year was only printed once and it came in a very sh uh, limited set, I believe Reckless Rampage. And that GR at one point was going for like 25 to 30 bucks. But as, since, as soon as this reprint came out, that GR is not worth like 10, eight bucks. And this one's worth like a dollar max, like a dollar, two bucks. Uh, anyways, guys, I highly recommend for you guys to stay until the end of the video. At the end of the video, I will, I will break down the case I will tell you guys the prices of each card, uh, how much money I'm making back, and if this case was minus or plus. Keep in mind, minus or plus. Even though I'm pretty sure I'm going plus no matter what. <laughs> like, there's no way I can go minus on this. Um, two more Stratasys in the G-Guard. Uh, honestly, like I said, I'm pretty sure I'm going to go super plus on these cases because $370 for a case of this, that's too good of a deal. Especially this G guard, this G guard, Amatera the CEO Amaterasu, this G guard used to go well. The original double R's used, used to go for like no, I, I believe it was a triple R. The triple R's used to go for like twenty to twenty five bucks, but as soon as this card came out, and as soon as there was a congratulations congratulations promo for it, uh, this card went down in value super hard. But still, it's one of the best G guards that OTT has. So I'm pretty sure eventually this G guard will go up to be like five bucks, maybe later on in the future. Right now it's like a dollar, two bucks. As for the Stratasys, not really much value. Uh, we got more Stratasys and we got another Stride. This time it's Masquerade Harry. This this Stride came as a GR at first, and then it came reprinted as a um, as a S as a SP and SP pack. So this is the third reprint of this card. It's still a decent stride. It's not really worth that much money. The GR goes like five, eight bucks. Well, this one goes like a dollar max, but overall still happy to pull it. Uh, another G guard, but this one's from Rakumos. Uh, ooh, okay, we pulled a stride for Mega Colony. Now this card also has been reprinted as a box topper and 
Destructive Roar. It, it was, I'm sorry, not a box topper, a case topper. Uh, if you bought a case of Destructive Roar, it came with a promo, which was this card per case. And this card needed a reprint really badly. The GRs, I believe, are going for like three, four, five bucks, while the reprinted one goes for like five bucks. And these are going for currently like two, three bucks. Overall, still, it's a, an amazing stride for Mega Colony. So if Mega Colonies do make a comeback, this stride is definitely going to be definitely definitely going to go up in value. So I'm pretty happy with that stride. Uh, we got a G guard for Gear Chronicles. This one goes for like a dollar. There are some full art G guards, which I'm pretty sure actually do have value. I'm just, I'm just not, too, not too sure which ones exactly. And we pulled another G guard for uh, for Green Natures. I'm pretty sure, again, I could get rid of it for like a dollar or two bucks. As for Stride Assist, it's, um, the Stride Assist, like I said, they're not that valuable as they used to be back then, but possibly maybe I can get rid of them for dollars. The main money cards in buying a box of Revolver Collection are the G guards and the Strides. Uh, for example, let's say these G, these G cards cost me a dollar each, so that's three, four, five, six, seven bucks. Let's say these cost me a dollar each, so that's nine bucks each. And let's say this one goes for three bucks, so that's twelve bucks in total. If you guys haven't calculated yet, so I paid three hundred and seventy dollars per case, um, and then plus the shipping. So if you actually, if you actually, I'm um, sorry. So in total, I paid eleven hundred, eleven hundred, six hundred and sixty. Ah. So if you guys actually think about it, I paid in total $1,166.63 and I paid $3.70 per case while shipping was $56.63. So by math, I paid $16 bucks and change per box in all these cases. And each case, I believe, comes with 24 boxes? Yeah, it comes with 24 boxes. So again, no matter what, I'm pretty sure no matter what, I'm making my money back and more. I'm definitely, I'm definitely going to go plus, depending which ZR that we actually pull. Like the ZRs in this set, all of them are being bought off the market. All of them are definitely value. So like I said, I'm 100% sure I'm going to make, to make back my money and more. Let me just start organizing everything. So how I found this ca these cases for cheap on Ideal 8, Usually, I don't really buy anything from IDLA 8. Um, I'm not too, too, not too big of a fan of paying the shipping price. But when... Usually, I, I go on eBay to look for boxes. And on eBay, I found these boxes for like, like 17 bucks and change. I looked at it, and they were doing deals. If you, buy, if you buy one box, you get the other box for like 10 cents cheaper or 20 cents cheaper. So when I looked it up, I saw that, that uh, it was IDLA 8 still on eBay. I was like, you know what? Let me check the website. So I went to their website, I checked out their boxes, their cases, and then I found this case. They were selling these cases for $370. That's insane. Uh, we pulled a stride for Tachikazes. This one actually does have value. The triple R's are going for like five, seven, eight bucks, while these are also selling for five to six bucks, five, five to eight bucks maybe. But anyways, no matter what, I'm, I'm gonna try to put the prices somewhere in the video in the corner, or if not, like I said, stay until the end of the video. At the end of the video, I'm gonna break down, break down the prices of each card to tell you guys if um, if this case was minus or plus. But again, like I said, I'm pretty sure I'm going plus. <clears throat> so yeah, Ideal 8 was selling these cases for $370. Um, I'm pretty sure that their ideal price was like, like 600, 500, not too sure. And he pulled up another stride and this time it's winning Champ Victor. This card, honestly, I feel like it will go up in value. This card only came as a GR and I'm pretty sure it came as an SP and SP pack. Overall, this is one of the best strides for normal calculators. This stride is insane. Uh, right now at the moment, I'm pre pretty sure it looks like three, four, or five bucks. <clears throat> but yeah, um, as soon as I saw that on Ideal 8, I, just, I took the dive. I was like, I have to buy it. If I don't buy it, I'm going to lose, lose, that, lose that great opportunity to, to go plus. Uh, we pulled a G-Guard for Kagero's. This one, uh, it, it's only been printed three times as a GR, SGR, and this, and this rarity. So back then, I never bought a case of this set because honestly, I didn't really think this set would have value and I was completely wrong. Recently, there's a lot of buyouts on a lot of strides, a few G guards and the Zerath Dragons. All the Zerath Dragons are, are completely being bought off market from this set. Now this card, honestly, I feel like it shouldn't be that much value, but it is. This card has been printed uh, twice, a Tripler and an SP. 
and this is the third 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 printing this one goes for eight to ten dollars because this stride is one of the best restanding vanguards out there for dark regulars it's insane so this card is definitely plus definitely made back my money with, with, with just that stride Geographic Shadow Paladins. So yeah, uh, back then I didn't get a case of this set because I, I honestly thought it was going to be minus. I also didn't really have the money and also this set came out the same month, I believe, with Premium Collection. Or it came out the same month as the other standard uh, standard case opening. I'm not, I'm not too sure. All I know is that Premium Collection and Revival Collection either came out very close in the same month or the month afterwards. And one of those two sets came with another booster set from standard format in the same month. Like, I don't know why Blue Shirt would do that. I don't know why Blue Shirt was pushing out two sets in one month. That's insane. Uh, and G-Guard is Tachikazes. This one, I believe, goes like two, three bucks because this G-Guard, like, like I said, is one of the best G-Guards for Tachikazes. And it, this is the second printing of this card. So a lot of these G-Guards are, are coming from Fighters Collection 2017. I believe and those g-guards honestly are very hard to find those g-guards one of the best g-guards that of course that the clan ever got has has ever gotten so even though a lot of these g-guards that we're getting are reprints i honestly feel like they will go up later on later on in value because we don't know if we're getting more g-guards later on in the future from bush road god forbid bush road doesn't give us more um more cases or more boxes for premium format so, like I said, maybe most likely we'll, we'll not get not, not get new G guards or reprinted G guards. You never know. Uh, this card was going for value. People were buying them out left and right. Uh, v Buster. This card was going for like eight to ten bucks, but people realized V Buster doesn't really do that much currently at the moment, and people have been trying to get rid of them now for like four five maybe three bucks this card used to be value but it's been dropping and dropping and i'm pretty sure it's still dropping in value uh, another g guard for pale moon g guard for murakumo We got another stride for uh, another stride for Noble Grapplers, winning champ, Victor. So each clan besides uh, Token Rambu got a stride in this set. And all the Zero Dragons were printed in this set. Now me, honestly, I don't know the ratios. I don't know how the ratios are gonna work. All I know is for now is that you're guaranteed no matter what, getting a you're getting a two stride assist in either a stride reprint or a G Guard reprint. I don't know how the the, how the hot stamps are working in this i don't know how the zero dragons work because because like i said I, I, I never bought a case of the set so i'm not that familiar with the the ratios in the set so like i said stay until the end of the video and i'll tell you the ratios and everything and we finally pulled a hot stamp we pulled Gantzla, which is actually very expensive at the moment uh hot stamp gant slots used to be like nine eight bucks but gant slots have been being have been bought off the market for the GRs, the SGRs, and now this rarity is also being bought for market. I'm pretty sure it's going for like 30 bucks, maybe like 25 to 30 bucks. Like I said, stay until until the end of the video. I'll definitely tell you, I'll definitely tell you all the prices of, prices of uh, each card. So I'm really happy that we pulled that one. That hot stamp is definitely worth value. Pretty happy about it. Uh, G guard for Grand Blue and G guard for Aqua. Hopefully this video doesn't take too long. Uh, maybe I might speed it up, I'm not too sure. But it's 24 boxes, but each box comes with what? 12 packs? Comes with... Comes with 10 packs and three cards per pack. So it shouldn't be that long of a, long of a video, but you never know. All I know is I just want to find out the ratios. Got another G guard for Aqua Force. G guard for Royal Pavins. Remember, guys, to comment, like, and subscribe to the channel for more videos. We're gonna have 
market watches every Thursday and Friday. And and now that I have my new system to, to uh, edit videos with, we should be having more videos up, more box openings, more case openings, and more market watch videos. Uh, G guard for Murakumos or Thomas Murakuma. Ooh, we pulled another hot stamp, and this one is for Link Joker for the leaders. This card needed a reprint badly. This card only came came as a GR, and this stride was a nece necessary stride for any deleted or Link Joker deck. Like you need at least one or two copies copies of this card, depending on what build you was going for. If you wanted to go for the you know the the final turn stride, or if you want to go for the beat down we stand in uh, plan. But overall, this stride at one point used to be four or five bucks. Now I'm pretty sure the hot stamps are going for like eight, nine bucks. Um, overall, like I said, almost all the hot stamps in this set are definitely in value. Um, the ones that that I think are cheap is the one for Bermuda Triangles, um, Gear Chronicle. Definitely, that Gear Chronicle hot stamp stride is really not worth anything. And let's see what else we pulled the Dark Regular stride. It's definitely value so in, in this box alone we pulled these two strides honestly that's already uh, 18 bucks we, we already made back our money just just by pulling these two strides out of that one box like that's how that's how plus we're going right now like 370 per case come on that's one of the best deals I've ever seen um, again like I said I usually don't buy from my deal at eight I don't like paying the shipping but this was just too good of a deal to not to, to not get it was insane we pulled the stride for Genesis, and this stride is actually going up in value. It's still going up in value. This card has only been printed as a triple R and as, and as a SP, and also as a, another SP in, in, in an SP pack. So technically, this is the fourth printing of this card. And this card at the moment, I'm pretty sure goes for like four or five bucks. So it's definitely in value right there. All right. We have, I believe, like 18, 17 more boxes left to go. I'm gonna have a lot of trash in my room to clean. But it is fine because I'm gonna be home all day. Quarantine. Ooh, we pulled a stride for Angel Feathers. Now this one has also been gaining value lately. This card has been gaining value because Angel Feathers, of course, no, they're, def they're definitely one of the waifu clans, but Angel Feathers are definitely getting more support and people are picking up a lot of Angel Feather cards and this stride is one of them. Right now at the moment, I'm pretty sure this stride goes like five eight bucks so i'm pretty happy that we finally pulled this one um the cheapest strides in this set um to be honest i can't remember <laughs> all i know is it's gear chronicles um neonectors yeah neonectors and this one actually is, is pretty cheap uh this stride is for grand blue i'm pretty sure it goes like two bucks this card used to be value back then when, when it first came out but it's been dropping in value a lot uh, people are preferred uh, uh, Gouch, Gouch prefer, uh, they prefer that card instead of this card. So this card unfortunately isn't worth that much money. <clears throat> so not all strides in this set are valued. A lot of them are actually pretty cheap, or like a dollar two bucks. But overall, I'd rather hold on to them and hope that they go up in value later on in the, in the long run. So that's why I, I, no matter what, I just had to get a case of this set. It was just too, too good of an opportunity. And we pulled a hot stamp for, for Bermuda Triangles, and I am pretty sure it goes for like five bucks. Um, the GR used to go for like 30 bucks, but then it went down in value. I'm pretty sure the GR goes for like 10, 15 bucks, while this one will go for five bucks. Uh, again, like I said, I'm gonna put the prices of each card at the end of the video. I'm gonna tell you how, how many copies did, did, we, did we pull of each, and I'm gonna let you know if this case was minus or plus. This G guard needed a reprint so badly for Narukami. This G-Guard was the best G-Guards. It was one of the best G-Guards out there. And thankfully, this G-Guard has, has been reprinted for Narukamis. Uh, at one point, the triple R version of this card used to go for like 20 to 25 bucks. Now I'm pretty sure this G-Guard goes for like, like five bucks, maybe eight bucks. But overall, it, this was a good reprint. Like we needed that reprint. And a G-Guard for Novas. I hope you guys are enjoying the, enjoying the video. If you guys are enjoying the video, please give it a thumbs up. 
And if you guys have any comments, leave a comment down below. I love reading your comments. I love replying to your comments. Uh, we got a G guard for Nibutama. This G guard needed a reprint. Definitely, Nibutama's needed this G guard. It was getting way too expensive. And we pulled the Hot Stamp Neo Nectar. This card, I believe, goes for like four or five bucks for a Hot Stamp. Um, honestly, I don't. This what? I'm not too much of a fan of, of this reprint. Yes, it looks nice. Yes, it looks beautiful. But I'm not. Too, I'm just not too not too much of a fan of this reprint. Uh, yes, it might be just for Neo Nectar for um, Musketeers, but I don't know. I, I honestly feel like uh, Neo Nectars could have gotten a better uh, reprint stride. And we pulled the reprint stride for Angel Feathers, which has value. Pretty happy about that. We pulled the CEO Matarasu reprint, uh, G Guard. We pulled Winning Champ Victor again. Uh, pulled G Guard for Megas. Let me start moving things. We pulled a G-Guard for Narakami again, which is definitely value. Uh, G-Guard for Genesis. Not too sure how much this card goes for. And the G-Guard for Gear Chronicles. So this box was pretty decent. It wasn't bad. It was decent. <clears throat> so far we haven't seen any reprinted Zero Dragons yet. Um, we still have a lot of boxes to go, so I'm not worried. I just want to know what's the ratio on the Zero Dragon. Like, is it one reprint Zero Dragon per case? Is it two? Is it three? I don't know. So let's find out. Uh, we pulled the reprint this right for Gold Paladins. This one does have value. I'm just not too sure how much. Uh, we pulled the re reprint this right for Grand Blue, which is pretty cheap. It's a Penny Stocks. G guard for Grand Blue. Uh, G guard for Pale Moon. A G guard for Great Natures. We got another Hot Stamp Genslaw, which is 100% value. It's 30 bucks right there. Really happy about that. Uh, we pulled the G guard for Angel Feathers, which actually does have value. This G guard only came as a double R, and the double R's are going for like 8 10 bucks. So I'm pretty sure this card goes like maybe four or five bucks. Uh, G guard for Deep Police, yeah, Deep Police, uh, Kagaros, and the last pack is Shadow Paladins. So the hot stamps do take away a regular stride; they take away just one, uh, which is okay. It's not that not that big of a deal. Now I just want to see. What does the 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 zero dragons? What do, what do they take away? So no matter what, you're getting three guaranteed strides. One of them can po can possibly be a hot stamp stride, and we still don't know what's the ratio yet for the for the zero dragon. Uh, we pulled the hot stamp for link jokers. Nice. Uh, G guard for gold paladins. G guard for Sprite Brothers. G guard for Nubatama. Ooh, we pulled the Stride for um, Shadow Paladins, Lord Stride. This one is definitely gaining value. The Triple R's are going for like seven to eight bucks, and these are also selling for four to five bucks, as the SPs are selling for twenty to twenty-five dollars. So this one is definitely value. Uh, people are definitely picking up Shadow Paladin cards. Really happy about that. We pulled the G guard for Neo Nectars. We pulled the stride for Great Natures. This stride, honestly, oh my god, I, I'm so happy this card was reprinted as a stride for Great Natures. This GR was going for like, at one point, it was going for 10, 10 to 9 bucks, but then Great Natures have been bought off the market as soon as uh, people realized that the, the new Grade 3. No, I'm sorry. That the Grade One Mega Colony Rare Unit, you can do a, a combo with that card and with the Zerf Dragon. And Green Eaters was seeing a lot of meta play back then, and this card was definitely going up in value because of it. At one point, the GRs were, were like thirty bucks, so I'm happy that this card was reprinted for Green Eaters. I believe that's all our strides. 
Yeah, and that's all I tried, so this should be a G Guard. So this pack was definitely good. Uh, this one, I believe, goes for like eight, nine bucks. So like I said, the stride assist, a lot of them really don't have that much value, but like, but, but you, you never know. You can probably get rid of them on TCG Player or on, or on eBay. Uh, there are definitely a lot of players out there who, who prefer the full art hollowed version of the stride assist instead of, instead of the rares. But uh, to be honest, in Vanguard, we're, we're getting the, the critical triggers that, that are stride assist. So maybe, possibly, these stride assists might might not be usable anymore but you never know you you might find that one one or two two you might find that one person who actually do want to buy these you can get rid of them for like dollars each we pulled the stride for ott which 100 percent went up in value ott is now meta and premium because as soon as we get that grade one cray elemental and the grade four stride cray elemental ott is going to be meta it's going to be insane like I seen I seen the gameplay online with different fight and it is stupid. It is insane how OTT is gonna be in premium format. Like Blue Shroud needs to fix that. That just makes me not want to play premium at all. Uh, we pulled the stride for D Police, Grand Gallop. This stride I'm pretty sure goes for like four or five bucks, maybe more. Uh, G Guard for, for Pill Moon. Uh, G Guard for Royal Pavins. GR for Tashikazes. GR for Aqua Force. GR for Kagaros. Ooh, we finally pulled a Zera Dragon and it is Drachma. Look at that. It's so beautiful. Look at this card in, in all its mighty. Drachma. Now, Drachmas at one point were going for like 40 to 50 bucks. But recently, there's been a lot of buyouts for Carpet Vanguard in the secondary market, and this card has been going up in value. Lately, it's, it became an $80 card, then $90, and potentially, maybe it's an, it's an it's a $100 card. Maybe. Because like I said, almost all the Zero Dragons for, from this set are bought off the market. They're gone. You can't find them anymore. And just look at that. It is just beautiful. Beautiful. Really happy that, that we finally pulled a Zero Dragon. And I'm pretty sure it, it yeah, the Zero Dragon takes away a stride. So no matter what, you're getting two guaranteed strides and potentially one of, uh, and then the third one might be might be a hot stamp or a uh, or a Zero Dragon. But really happy that we finally pulled a Zero Dragon. Let's see what else we can pull. Uh, Alright, we still have more boxes to go. We have I believe like 12, 13 boxes left. So again guys, I paid $370 per case, paid 56 bucks and change for shipping. So in total, I basically paid, paid uh, 16 bucks and change per box, which is definitely plus. We pulled a reprinted GR Stripe for Sun Moon, Great Nature G Guard, Ooh, we pulled the stride from Rakuma, which we haven't seen yet. Uh, G guard for Roll Paladins, which only which came as a rare, then SP. Uh, G guard for Tachikazes. G guard for I believe Deep Leaves. G guard for Kagros. Uh, we got the OTT stride, which is definitely in value at the moment. Definitely, definitely going to get rid of them now before they go down, go down in value. And G guard for gear consoles. Not a bad box. Mainly made back my money with just that stride. Again guys, stay tuned. Uh, the second case opening video should be uploaded by next week. And the third case opening video should be uploaded by the week after that. 
because I have a lot more box openings for you guys. It's gonna be insane. Like like recently, I just I just been going on eBay buying boxes, uh, find looking at sales. I found a few stores like Core TCG. They had a sale on a couple boxes which I picked up. Uh, I also bought some boxes off ARG. They supposedly had a sale. Honestly, after I made the purchase, I realized that buying boxes from ARG was completely minus. It's not, it's not on sale. And we just pulled another Zero Dragon and it is Megiddo in all its glory. It looks so beautiful. Look at that card. Oh my God, it looks beautiful. I wanna keep it, but I'm not because I wanna make my money back and more. Oh, so beautiful, so beautiful. I am running out of space on this table. <laughs> Let's uh, all right, let's start getting rid of these piles. And just put them right here. Oh, Megiddo, you look so beautiful. So, out of out of one case, we pulled two Zero Dragons. At this point, honestly, I would value each Zero Dragon around a hundred dollars. Besides Dusk, Dusk is like still 40 50 bucks. Dusk is one of the cheapest ones. Uh, Zoa's around a hundred bucks. Uh, Starks around like 50 60 bucks and we pulled the stripe for shadow paladins Now the geese I'm pretty sure is also one of the one of one of the Zara dragons and the geese goes for like like 40 to 50 bucks But regardless no matter what as long as I pull a Ultima or a Drachma Those are definitely one of the highest value zeros out of the whole set And we already pulled a Drachma so I'm, I'm already happy happy about that Ultima is where, is where the money is at. Ultimas are ridiculously, like, they're insanely expensive. Insanely in expensive. So, yeah, guys, you can find these deals on eBay. Look at, like, no, look at well known sellers online, like Air, like uh, Core TCG, Ideal A, Tron Code. Look up all their boxes, see if they have a sale. Um, honestly, I just got super lucky with this. Like I said, I was looking on eBay. I found, I, I found um, Ideal 8 listing on eBay, then I checked out I, I, Ideal 8's website personally, and that's how I found these cases for a really good price. Like, it's insane. Uh, Strife OTTs, which is definitely value, because OTTs are going to be meta in premium format. It's, it's just insane how blue short lists happen again. <clears throat> The G guard for Aqua Force, G guard for Nibutamas, G guard for New Nectars, uh, G guard for Spike Brothers, G guard for OTTs, which is a good reprint, one of the best reprints in the set. And we pulled a hot stamp for Ange. Like I said, these are pretty cheap. They're like four or five bucks, maybe three bucks. Um, unfortunately, she used to be valued back then, but now she's not worth that much anymore. No, I dropped the cheek guard. Nah, I'll pick it up later. All right, that is that. Next box. That's five. We have 11 boxes left. I do apologize if, I, if I'm taking too long opening opening these uh, packs, these boxes. But if you want to skip until to the end of the video, where I start going over the prices and to tell you guys that this case is minus or plus, I'm gonna leave a time frame in the description box. If you click it, it'll take, if you click it, it should take you to that to that time frame. Uh, we pulled the stripe for shadow paladins. Nice, definitely value right there. Uh, G guard for Bermuda triangles. Uh, Strive for Med Colonies. Uh, G Guard for Novas. Uh, ooh, we, have, we, we pulled the Strive for, for Nibotamas. This card is gaining value currently. Uh, the SGRs are being bought off the market. The GRs are, are becoming like 10 bucks. So I'm pretty sure this Strive goes like four or five bucks, maybe. <clears throat> Pull the G Guard for Dark Regulars. G guard for Met Colonies. 
And the GDR4 Angel Feathers. All right, this box was a regular box, not too special. Now, me, I, I want to find out what's the ratio on the, on the hot stamp strides. Like, how, how many hot stamps is it per case? Let's find out. <clears throat> uh, we got the Jigar for Shadow Pothins, Jigar for Pell Moon. Ooh! <laughs> we pulled our third Zero Dragon and it is stark. Oh, another beautiful, beautiful Zero Dragon. This card just looks amazing. Honestly, like yes, I prefer the original Z the, the original ZR rarities, but the revival collection rarities are just it's just so beautiful. Like honestly, come on. Like no wonder why these cards the, the revival collection versions are being bought off bought off market first before the, the original ZRs. Like this card is just beautiful. Um, like I said, I'm pretty sure it goes like like 50 to 70 bucks, maybe more. I'm not, I'm not too sure. Like I said, at the end of the video, I'm going to tell you all the prices of each card. And I'm going to break down the case as much as possible and let you guys know if this case was minus or plus. Oh, I'm, I'm so happy right now. <clears throat> I, I honestly feel like I'm 21 years old again. Like, that's how happy I am. This is just one of the best investments I've made in 2020. I'm just so happy with myself. So excited to be opening these packs. Because I haven't opened a case for Carpet Vanguard in months. So this is really fun. This is a fun time for me. And we pulled uh, the Stride for Aqua Force, Alexandros. Now these used to be dirt cheap. They used to be like dollars. But now these are actually going up in value. Alexandros only came as a GR and this card. And the GRs are going for like 10, 15 bucks. And these are also going for like 10, 15 bucks. So I'm really happy that we actually pulled this Stride for, Aqu for Aqua Force. But surprisingly enough, that's actually the first, the first, uh, the first one we pulled Falcon Force. I mean, I mean, I can't complain because <laughs> out of that box, I, I pulled Stark. So <laughs> that's crazy. So you can pull three Zerath Dragons in the case. That's crazy, man. Oh my god, I, I, I'm just so happy right now. <clears throat> Now, originally, I'm not too sure how much these cases went for back then. Uh, by 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 guess, I'm assuming people were buying these cases like 550 or 600, and I'm not too sure. <clears throat> if you guys know how much how much of these cases cost back then, or if you bought a case of, of this set, please comment down below and let me know how much you paid for this for a case of this set. I I, I definitely want to know how much it this case usually usually uh, goes for. Because the boxes, the boxes retail for like thirty dollars, I believe. They retail for like thirty or twenty eight bucks around around there. Honestly, if you can find these boxes on, on eBay or any store for cheaper than twenty dollars, I highly recommend to buy them. It is definitely going to be plus for you. But me, I bought a case because I knew no matter what, if I bought a case of this set, I was going to pull a Zara Dragons, and Zara Dragons are definitely value at the moment. <clears throat> People are buying them left and right. Uh, Jigar for Angel Feathers. Jigar for Novas. Uh, Deep Police. And ooh, we pulled the hot stamp for the Purge. All right, so this is the first one we've seen. These skyrocketed up in value recently. The purges, the GRs are being bought off the market, and this one is also being bought off the market. I'm pretty sure the hot stamps go for like 20 bucks, maybe more. But these have definitely went up in value. I'm so happy I pulled one of these. I, I honestly I almost forgot that this card was, was in the set. So I'm pretty happy that we pulled that. I do apologize if I'm losing my voice. Maybe in the next case opening, I'll have my sister help me open the case because this is kind of getting a little bit of hard work. Even though it's only 10 packs per box. We pulled the stride for um, Tazukazes, which has value. Jigar for Genesis, not too sure. 
Giga for Gear Chronicles, not too sure. Giga for Link Jokers, uh, should be cheap. Giga for, for Bermuda Triangles, should have value. Giga for Narukamis, definitely has value. <clears throat> Giga for Dark Regulars, has value. Uh, Alright, so we finally pulled a hot stamp for the Gear Chronicles. This card, honestly, I don't agree that it should have been a hot stamp. This card came as a promo, and the promo was non-hollow. The promos, I believe, at one point were selling for like 10 15 bucks. But as soon as this card came out, and as soon as Gear Chronicles weren't meta anymore, this card has been, has been dropping down in value very hard. So I'm pretty sure this one goes to like 2 3 bucks, maybe 5 bucks. not too sure. But it's one of the cheapest strides in this set. One of, one of the cheapest hot stamps in, in this set. So I'm not really too happy about pulling it, but to, but to be honest, I, I, I expected to pull it. Right, it was a decent box with the strides. Not too happy about the the gear chronicle stride. Let me get some water because I am losing my voice. <clears throat> now we have eight boxes to go. <clears throat> now I highly doubt we're gonna pull another zero dragon because if there. If we do pull a fourth Zero Dragon, like there's no way, like there's no way buying cases of this set for $37 is not plus. Uh, let's try for Gold Pogans. Uh, Link Choker. Dark Regulars, which definitely has value. Remember guys to comment, like, and subscribe to the channel for more videos every Thursday. Standard Market Watch and every Friday is going to be our Carver Vanguard Premium Market Watch. Yeah, we pulled another hot stamp for Gear Chronicles. Definitely not too happy about that. G Guard for Angel Feathers. And G Guard for Gear Chronicles. Alright. It was an okay box, okay box until we pulled the, the stride for Gear Chronicles. It is okay. It happens time to time. <clears throat> we got G-Guard for D-Police. The stride for Mega Colonies. G guard for Royal Pollens. G guard for Murakumo. G guard for Shadow Pollens. Again, guys, remember a lot of these G guards came from Friday's Collection 2017. That set came with one of the best G guards for each clan. And we pulled another hot stamp for Kagaros. We pulled the Purge. Definitely worth $29 to $30 really happy about this <clears throat> the purges are definitely up in value so happy so happy let's try for Rukumos. g guard for tachis and g guard for grand blue all right really good box really good box Pulled the stride for Spike Brothers. <clears throat> G-Guard for Megas. G-Guard for Rapalden. Stride for Gold Paladins. G-Guard for Gear Chronicles. Stride for Aqua Force, which definitely has value. Uh, 
uh, G Drive for Murakumo. G Guard for Link Jokers. Both the Bleeders. G Guard for Deep Police. And I'm pretty sure it's another G Guard for Gold Pilots. Pretty good box. Now, if he bought these boxes for retail price and didn't pull a Zero Dragon, or yeah, it, it, if you bought it for retail price and didn't pull a Zero Dragon, then you definitely went minus because. Back then, when this set first came out, a lot of these hot, these hot stamps were dirt cheap. A lot of them were like five, eight bucks. Like none of them were past ten bucks. But now, a lot of them are actually past twenty dollars. Uh, we pulled the G Guard for Bleeders, Novas, Great Natures, Angel Feathers. Honestly, I'm, I'm. I'm just surprised that Ideal A actually had cases of this set still sealed. Like, like it was, it was just insane. Oh, <laughs> we pulled Ultima. <laughs> that right there is 100% plus this card in all rarities. The Zara Dragon, the the Secret Rare, this rarity. Oh my God, all of them are above $100. Are you kidding me right now? Come on. Like, 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 we already made back our money alone just with the Zero Dragons. With Ultima, Drachma, Megiddo, and Stark. Come on, this is so plus. Oh my god, I am just... I'm sorry if I'm yelling. I am just way too happy and excited right now. This is just... Oh, I'm on Cloud9 right now. So we pulled four Zero Dragons out of one case. One case. <laughs> so at the end of the video, I will not be telling you how, how minus we went. I'm going to be telling you how plus we went with this case. It is just insane. I, oh my god. And we pulled the Strider for Grangers, which <laughs> this box alone was uh, was over a hundred dollars. Oh my god. Wow, like just just wow. All right, so I am pretty sure that's all the Zara Dragons that we're gonna pull. Cause like I said, I'm not too familiar with the ratios. I never opened or saw a case opening of the set. Uh, I stayed away from the set honestly because like I said, this set either came out the same month with with. Uh, with, with a standard set or it came a month before a standard set that came with premium collection in the same month like like the months were too close like like the issue that i have with blue Road is that back then they were, they were giving us sets like every month yes i understand blue Road wants wants us to catch up with all the clans to get to get support for all clans but like buying cases like every month was getting expensive like me i had bills to pay well, well, well. Nowadays, with my uh, online selling has been has been going, like me, I'm, I'm past my bills. Like I'm, like I paid off all my bills. There's only one big bill left, which is my car, and after that, I'm good. Like, like it, it's been a good few months for my for my online business for selling. Like it's just been really good. Like I'm paying off so many bills right at the moment. And more G guards. So we, for the strides, we definitely made back our money with the LTT stride and Grand Gallop. Those strides are definitely value. As for the G guards, the G, Narcana G guard, definitely value. All right, we have three boxes left. Uh, G guard for Genesis. Try for Spike Brothers. GR for Dark Regulars. Try for Nibutamas. GR for Kagaros. Uh, GR for Novas. GR for Megas. 
Gigar for Link Joker. Gigar for Angel Feathers. And we pulled an, another hot stamp for Neon Actors, uh, the Musketeer Stride. We'll put that there. All right, pretty decent box. Wasn't that great, but it, it was okay. So, so far we pulled four Zero Dragons. We pulled four, six, eight, uh, 10, 12 hot stamp strides. So, so at this point, I'm pretty sure it's safe to, safe to say that you're gonna pull two copies of each hot stamp stride, and it's 12 per case. So that's pretty good. So then that means these last two boxes should have nothing. They should be duds. But let's find out. Giga uh, for Gold Pavins. Uh, Genesis, which is definitely value right there. Tama G Guard, OTT G Guard, Amaterasu, um, the Murakuma G Guard, the Tachikaze Stride, definitely value right there, G Guard for Green and Blue, and the last one should be another G Guard for Aqua Force. Okay, a uh, uh, pretty good box. Of but with all three of these strides, these strides are definitely value. I can definitely get rid of them easily. And last box. Again, I'm pretty sure there's nothing in here. I'm pretty sure it's just three regular strides and all Drew guards. <clears throat> uh, Grand Blue G guard. Try for, for Narukamis, which used to be expensive, but now it just went down in value super hard. Giga for Pell Moon. Uh, Strive for Angel Feathers, which definitely has value. Uh, Strive for Genesis, which definitely has value. So that's all the strides in here. So I'm pretty sure all, the rest of them are going to be G Guards. G-Guard, G-Guard, and last pack, it is a G-Guard. Okay, so, to finalize it, you get 12 hot stamps per case, you get two of each hot stamp per clan, and you get four Zero Dragons, which is amazing because one of them can be an Ultima and Ultima is one of the most expensive one of the most sought out ZRs out of the whole out of all Carve Vanguard like I'm extremely happy just pulling Ultima that's so good so guys stay tuned for part two of the video where I break down where I, where I break down the case and tell you the prices of each card see you in a few minutes what's going on guys and welcome back to part two of the case opening well, first of three case openings of Revival Collection Volume 2. Now, we opened up one case. The second case opening should be uploaded by next week. And then the third case opening should be uploaded the week after that. And for each case, I paid $370. I paid uh, $56.63 $56 for shipping. So in grand total, I paid $1,000, $166.63. I'm still happy and grateful that I found this deal from Ideal 8. Um, and yeah, because just by looking at this, I'm already making, I'm already going plus. So yes, I do realize I'm doing the part two of the video on Microsoft Microsoft Word instead of writing on a piece of paper or, pre, or a piece of cardboard. Let me know if you guys prefer me to do part two of case openings on this or if you guys want me to handwrite it, stuff like that. I don't know. Uh, I just figured let me do it on Microsoft Word to look a little bit more professional. So comment down below. Let me know if you guys prefer me to, to do part two, part two of the case openings on this or on piece of paper. All right. So we pulled four Xerath Dragons in total. And keep in mind, the, these prices for the Xerath Dragons are combined from TCG Player on, and eBay because some of these cards are bought off the market from T TCG Player. 
So Ultimas are going for $125, uh, Megiddo's are going for $89, Starks are going for $70, and Drachmas are going for $90. So with these four Zero Dragons alone, I already made back my money on the case with $374. $374 just with the four Zero Dragons. Broken. <laughs> Broken. Now for the hot stamps. Uh, the purges at 30 bucks each, which which I only pulled two of. That's 60 bucks right there. Uh, Ang, which I assumed was a cheap hot, was, was which was one of the cheap hot stamps. It was not. It's 13 bucks, and I pulled two of them. So that's 26 dollars right there. Genslots, we pulled two of them, and they're 26 bucks each. So in total, that's 52 dollars. Um, the hot stamp Musketeer Cecilia's, they're two bucks each. So that's four. Uh, four dollars in total and then we pulled two ultra dragons which are two bucks each so that's four dollars in total so in total for the hot stamp strides we we got back 162 dollars broken now for the strides the the triple art reprinted strides x gallops are 12 bucks each we can pull four copies of it so that's 48 dollars right there we pulled four copies of still waters for eight bucks each so that's 32 dollars right there we pulled two copies of the blur on the size dragon they're going for nine bucks each. So that's eighteen dollars right there. Uh, Blader Mouse, the Dark Regular Stride. We pulled three of it. Six bucks each. So that's eighteen dollars right there. V Buster. I thought went down in value, but it's still going for eight dollars each. We pulled three of it. That's twenty-four bucks right there. Dragabus Lord. We pulled three copies. Eight dollars each. So that's twenty-four dollars right there. Um, Gabriel Eden Stride for Angel Feathers. We pulled three copies. Twelve bucks each. That's thirty-six dollars. Insane. Um, unfortunately, we only pulled two copies of Alexandros for six bucks each. That's 12 in total. But keep in mind, I have a strong feeling that Alexandros will go up in value. Uh, Gaia Devastates, we pulled three copies, eight bucks each. That's $24 right there. We pulled three copies of La Gurgowit. That's five bucks right there, 15, 15 in total. We pulled four Overwhelm Stride for Mega Colonies. That's five bucks each. That's $20 in total. We pulled three Vanguards for the, the Genesis Stride. That's $8 each, $24 in total. Three winning champs, victors, that's three three bucks each in total. That's nine. We pulled four Harry Strides, eight dollars each, going for uh, in total thirty-two dollars. Surprisingly, eight dollars each. Uh, I honestly thought the Harry Stride would be cheaper. Uh, the Murakumo Strides, we pulled three of them. They're two bucks each, so that's six dollars in total. And the Grand Blue Stride, we pulled three of them. They're a dollar each, so that's three dollars in total. So for the Strides alone, we're making back three hundred and forty-five dollars. Come on, that's so broken and as for the g guards there was only two g guards that actually had value the amaterasu g guard was going for two bucks each we pulled seven copies of them so that's 12 bucks right there i'm sorry no 14 bucks wow my math is terrible 14 bucks right there and we pulled eight copies of the grand blue g guard which are dollars each so that's eight dollars right there so in total we making we're making back 22 dollars not bad on the G guards. Now every other card that we pull, like the Stride Assist and the other G guards, they're going for like fifty cents each. So I'm not going to bother adding them. But in grand total, we're making back nine hundred and three dollars. What? Again, we paid three hundred and seventy dollars per case with fifty six dollars shipping. And we're and on just one case alone, we made back $903. I cannot wait to open the other cases. I can't wait to see how plus we made in total out of these three cases. But just one case of Revival Collection, Volume 2, we're making back $903. Insane. That is just insane. As for the Stride Assist and the other G-Guards, which will go for like 50 cents, I'm going to put them, put, put them up online and hopefully they sell for dollars or maybe 75 cents. I don't know. But the, the, these other cards, like, they're going to sell. I'm, I'm going to get rid of them. Like, they, these cards are selling out on TCG Player. And I'm just so truly blessed and so happy that I found this deal from Ideal 8. $307 per case. I'm sorry if I keep repeating that price, but that price is just insane. One of the best investments I made, I've made so far in 2020. Crazy. So guys, if you guys enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you guys are new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel for more videos. Every Thursday, standard mark watch, and every Friday, premium mark watch. And we de we are definitely going to have more box openings, more case openings. Again, um, the second case opening should be uploaded by next week, and third one the week after that. And hopefully we make back 900 or, or even more on those cases. Um, the main money card, of course, was Ultimas. Ultimas are 
definitely very very much expensive as for the hot stamps they're the purges the purges are 30 dollars each that's insane and as for strides it's x gallops and i believe um the angel feather strides are 12 bucks each yeah so the most expensive strides out of this whole set it's x gallop and the angel feather stride gabriel eden so those are, those are going for 12 bucks each insane uh and, and again the g guards there's only two of them that actually have value two bucks and then a dollar every other card 50 cents each so yeah guys i will see you guys next time deuces